Hi there, my name is Sam and I'm excited to introduce the Color Variant Picker. With our new Variant Picker element, you can create custom color swatches like these in seconds. So let's dive in and explore the ins and outs of this feature. Before we dive into how you can set us up in Instant, we need to go over to Shopify since setting up the Variant options the correct way is crucial. This is where the Instant Hoodie product is set up. And as you can see right here under variants, there is a size variant and a color variant. The color variants, which is the important part, are connected to the category meta field, which is crucial for this setup. Shopify will do this automatically when creating a new product. And if set up correctly, you can see this blue meta field icon, which is telling you that the variant is connected to a meta field. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see the category meta fields of this product. And we can also see the color meta field right here with the corresponding colors. Then next to the color swatches, you can also work with images. So to do this, click on the color variants, then on a specific color, click on edit. And right here next to a color, you can also select a image. And that's it for the Shopify setup. Now let's go back to instant. To work with the color variant picker, go to variant and here you can find the brand new element. Before we drag and drop this onto the canvas, let's duplicate this row right here with the variant drop down. Then let's call this color. We delete the variant drop down and then under elements, we drag in the color variant picker element right here and there we have it. When the color variant picker is selected, you will see the option to either showcase a size, which is the other variant or the color variant. In this case, it's a color variant picker. So color is the only option that will work and automatically it will fetch and showcase the different color variants we have set up in Shopify. Then if we preview, we can also see it's functional. Whenever we select a different color, it will also showcase the corresponding variant of the product. The different color options have a interaction by default, which is this black circle outlining the active color. If we go to the layer panel and select options, then we can see that there is an active interaction and this is done by default. To change this, go to interactions and then you can see that there is an active trigger which you can customize right here. You can change the shadow, the border, you can add different sorts of properties and anything you can imagine. And that's essentially it for this color variant picker. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more exciting product updates.